hello friends welcome back to our channel in today's video i am going to ask you a single interview question on study time analysis and i will give its answer also in the same video and the question is very simple what type of paths exists in a single clock domain design that needs to be constant let us assume that you have a complex design but it uses only single clock in it so what type of paths do you think need to be constant you can pause my video here try to think of its answer if something comes to your mind please write it down in the comment section so that we can start a discussion there otherwise i am going to reveal its answer friends as per my understanding the type of paths that should be constant in a design which is working on single clock are following register to register path input delay path output delay path combination logic that is input to output we'll discuss each one of them in detail friends if your design is lying inside this chip and let us say your design is very complex design includes lakhs and lakhs of flip flop or registers inside it and you want your design to work at a particular frequency that is called maximum frequency of operation you need to constrain all the flip flop to flip flop paths that exist inside your design against the maximum frequency of operation and this is done with the help of a period constraint this is done in the fpj world as well as in the asic world so we need to define the period constraint to check whether all the flip flop to flip flop paths are working at the given maximum frequency in the upcoming videos we will discuss this period constraint in depth now let us discuss the second type of path second type of path is input delay path here in the picture d in is a input to our chip and through some combination logic it is received on one of the flip flop named as reg a but the other flip flop which is giving its output is residing outside the chip now how to do this flip flop to flip flop path analysis for maximum frequency of operation this is possible with the help of other type of constraint that is called set input delay constraint we will discuss set input delay constraint in the upcoming videos in more depth but these input paths should be constrained using set input delay path one more thing these interfaces are of two types one type of interface is called system synchronous interface and another type is called source synchronous interface so our constraints will vary depending on the interface type whether it is system synchronous or source synchronous now let us discuss the third type of path that we need to constrain that is output delay path in output delay path our design gives output to the external world in this case i have shown only one output t out it is coming output of this flip flop let us name it as reg b and through some combination logic it is it is reaching at the output port and then it is reaching to the flip flop which is residing inside the other chip how to do this flip flop to flip flop analysis for maximum frequency of operation is possible through set output delay constraint set output delay constraint we will cover it in more depth in our upcoming videos again the same fundamental applies here there are two type of interfaces source synchronous and system synchronous all these constraints will vary depending on the type of constraint now the final and the last type of path that should be constrained is input to output path which is purely a combination logic how to constrain this purely combination logic path is using set max delay path and set min delay path so basically we constrain these type of paths for maximum delay and minimum delay friends don't worry anything we are going to cover all these constraints in great depth in our upcoming videos but i am going to wrap up this video here i hope that this video will be quite informative for all of you if you also like this video please press the like button and you can share your feedback in the comment section and if you are also waiting for the upcoming videos don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of all the upcoming videos thank you so much for watching and your time